For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this tower with the height of h, from this point to the top of the tower, it makes an angle of 51.5 degrees. And the area of this right triangle form must be equal to 97 square meters. Now, the question is, what is the height of the tower? Thanks to St. Chira and Didina for suggesting this question. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, this question comes from Sanchira and Didina, and they want us to answer this question. Alright, so, given this figure, we know that the height of this tower is h, which is unknown. This is what we want to find. And the area of this right triangle must be equal to 97 square meters. And we also have a given of 51.5 degrees. Now, to answer this question, why not let B be the base of this right triangle like this. And then, using the concept of the area of a triangle, we know area of a triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So we have the base, we have the height, and we know the area which is 97 square meters. So we can replace this A with 97 like this. And now, what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by 2 to eliminate this denominator 2. If we do that, we get something like 97 times 2 equals to base times height or B times H. Now 97 times 2, this will give us 194 must be equal to B times H. Now let's set aside this equation. Alright, now at this point, we will use the other given in this figure, which is the 51.5 degrees or the given angle. Now let's relate this angle, the height that we want to find, and the base. Now, one function comes to our mind, which is the tangent function. So it says that tangent of theta must be equal to its opposite side over its adjacent side. Now, we know this angle theta it is given which is 51.5 degrees so we can replace that now the opposite side of this angle must be equal to h which is what we want to find and the adjacent side is the base so let's replace the adjacent side with b now what we're going to do is to get the value of b in terms of h so to do that let's multiply both sides by variable b and then, let's divide both sides by tangent of 51.5 degrees. So we get that the value of B must be equal to H over tangent of 51.5 degrees. Now we will do the same thing on our first result. So let's get the value of B in terms of H. So this is very simple. Let's divide both sides by the variable H. So B must be equal to 194 over H. And take note that B is also equal to H over tangent 51.5 degrees. So we can equate 194 over H and H over tangent of 51.5 degrees. Now we can now solve for the value of H. So what we're going to do is to cross multiply. So this will give us 194 multiplied by tangent of 51.5 degrees equals h times h. And h times h, this will give us h raised to the power of 2. Now to find the value of h, very simple, just get the square root on both sides. Now since h is a side length or the height of the tower, so we are only interested with the positive value of h. So the right hand side must be equal to h. And the left-hand side must be equal to the square root of 194 times tangent of 51.5 degrees. And that is the exact value of h, or the height of the tower, in terms of meters. And if we want an approximation, this value right over here must be equal to 15.62 meters. Therefore, 
our answer to this question, what is the height of the tower? And our answer is 15.62 meters approximately. Or we have the exact value. We have square root of 194 times tangent of 51.5 degrees meters. And as always, we are done.